guys, thanks for joining us this week. Welcome to the Talk Around Town Show. I'm your technology host, Dan Weeks, and joining me as always is Colleen Masson, our entertainment host, yes. and Courtney Bailey, Lifestyle. Good Courtney Bailey! <laughs> switched it up a little bit. Didn't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you gotta change. Normally it's yeah. her first name, you were in hers. It's fantastic. Yeah. Courtney should do a shoe segment because she's a shoe queen. Yeah. She has, her shoes are always really super cute. I don't know if you can see them under here. I'm not lifting my leg up. I'm giving you a show. <laughs> yeah, no, this is not <laughs> talk around town kind of show. show. Basic dainty, instinct edition. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, we have a lot of stuff today, um, and I wanted to point something out. There what is, is that? A, whiskey? Doesn't it look like whiskey? No, this is a scent from Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements. We have uh, actually one of the founders with us a, today. A, 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 accoutrements. Accoutrements. Yeah. So, but smell this though. It's an that's aftershave. A, that's a, that's a word I have never and heard. And describe what you what you smell. Well, it makes me feel like. Uh, Let me smell. He went western here. Like yeah. saddling uh, my steed and <laughs> breathing my chaps and skinning my smoke wagon and gunning down some desperados. Let me see. Yeah, uh, saddles and gunpowder. Right. <laughs> what it makes me That's think exactly of. Exactly what it says: gunpowder, leather, tobacco. Yep. Tombstone. Oh, ooh, see, tombstone. <laughs> I should have done my Doc Holiday. So. <laughs> It's, uh, my point with that, though, is... I got it on my lip. <clears throat> I, <laughs> you like that? Nah. Does it taste like it, too? <laughs> but we had, um, so I got to my mailbox last week because I had, I told Douglas when we were booking for the show a few weeks ago that I was growing a beard out. And, and what did he call himself before the show? The, the beard exterminator the, or something? The beard right? slayer. The beard slayer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I get to my mailbox, check it everything, and there's some business mail in there. And then all of a sudden, there's a big box, like a, a big... I get a key in my mailbox, and I had to go pick it up. Ah. And it's a big care package with everything I need to shave my beard when I'm ready to shave my beard. So there's... What if you don't want to shave your beard? Well, now I have to shave my beard because <laughs> I've actually I've been using it on my neck and like right here. Because it's trimming up. scruffy. I've just been looking for an excuse to, to shave around it because I have to grow <laughs> this part out for the roll, but here is fair game. Oh, so you... Wait, wait hold on. Let's back up. Wait a minute. The tables have turned. So I, I know Dan, he, he's doing, he was told, said that he was doing production on a film. No, no, I'm not in that. This is for a... Uh, but you're uh, doing something else. You're yeah, acting in something. Yeah, yeah, it's commercial. Well, will wonders never cease. <laughs> so, guys, sign up for our members club. We have a sit down with filmmaker Marcelo Grion, who came in all the way from wherever he lives. He's from Italy. I was going to say <laughs> Italy, but... He's, oh, Italia. I think he was in L.A., but he has a film called The Prototype. And... He gave me something a to black give to you. No, he didn't give me back black satchel. This is what happens. I, I just lose stuff. Here we go. Ready? It's like a Ready? purse. Ah! <laughs> I got a one sheet. Left for dead. <laughs> back for more. Oh, snaps! <laughs> Eek! See, how come I... Where did he film this? It was all over the place. He actually flew his crew to Italy. Uh, really? They were in, yeah. They were That's in awesome. LA. They were here. It's been in production for like a decade. So, um, anyway, go to the talkaroundtownshow.com and sign up for our members club. And we have that interview coming out uh, at the same time as this episode, actually. So, stick around and we'll be right back. Hi, guys. This is Colleen Master from the Talk Around Town Show. We're here in Best Buy in Glendale, Arizona. And right now, we're at the GoPro kiosk. GoPro is a fantastic little camera. You've probably seen these around. You see someone with it on their head or maybe on their bike. Basically, the idea is to capture your life. And you can get them right here at Best Buy. Have you ever wanted to do what this guy is doing? Ski, whatever. Watch your kids, family, friends. Just stick a camera somewhere. GoPro can help you watch your life happen from different angles that you never even thought of before. You want to put it on your dog? Actually, that'd be pretty cool. Put it on your dog, just strap it to your dog's back, and just see what your dog gets into for the day. <laughs> Available at Best Buy or online at BestBuy.com. Remember, turn on your life with Best Buy. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the Talk Around Town Show. Today, we've got a wonderful entrepreneur, Mr. Douglas <laughs> Smythe. The Beard that's, Slayer. That's the Beard Slayer. <laughs> you, you, we should like get them a commercial. Where, <laughs> yeah, where like, like, you know, the, yeah, like, with the gigantic yeah. razor blade. No, we yeah. can't, we can't beat his commercial because he just had a commercial uh, come out. 
I got a, a message on Facebook like two weeks ago, mm. and it's this very well shot, very well sound designed, just like all around awesome piece. And it's this grandfather in a study, and he's reading, and there's this crackling fireplace, and it's beautiful, picturesque, like kind of like Lord Fitzbatten, except mm. serious. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, there's this kid texting, and you hear the <laughs> iPhone click. <laughs> yeah. And the whole thing, it's about, what, three minutes? Yeah. And it's just, it's a perfect commercial. It's so well done, so. We can't do Thank anything you. to stop that. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but they don't have a little miniature beard slayer. It's true. With a double-edged razor. Stop action, claymation. Stop action, claymation, <laughs> yeah. who jumps around on people's faces and says, Today, <laughs> we slay the beard! And goes around swinging <laughs> a claymore. Down, right? I mean, like, <laughs> yeah. And then, like, the hairs fall off, and then, like, the guy's just standing there in the mirror. It zooms out, and the guy's standing there in the mirror, and he's using the product, and the hairs fall down. <laughs> oh, that would and actually be pretty cool. Yeah. I don't know how we're going to do that. If you guys want to help me out with this, we can make that happen. Well, I'm growing you can out grow already. A beard, right? I mean, yeah. Sorry, Cal. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. Aww. Yeah. The joke is that Cal's DNA does not allow him to grow a full beard. It's not my fault. <laughs> no. It's genetic. <laughs> yeah. So anyway. The things that keep me so good looking also keep me from having facial hair. <laughs> We're not judging him. <laughs> We're afraid of So how, how long have you guys been um, uh, in how business? How long has the company been in yeah. business? Uh, about three years now. Yeah, around three, three and a half years. I was trying to think of that on the way here. I was like, how long have I been in business for? And it's, yeah, roughly three years. So you've just been doing it longer. Yeah, been doing it long. Well, I originally, I was making, coming up with products in, in a hammock in Central America. I was, you know, trying to figure out. <laughs> in a hammock. Yeah, strange, I was uh, down there living on a beach. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in a oh, hammock. Oh, the life of an entrepreneur. Yeah. It's so difficult. No, it wasn't, it was, oh, this is, no, it wasn't really about being an entrepreneur then. It was just like, save as much as you can. Yeah. Move down there. You're spending a dollar a day or five dollars a day. And, uh. I didn't know the language or anyone down there. I was just like, I want to surf. And so that's what I was doing. You want to surf yeah, I want and to surf. make stuff. Yeah, and people <laughs> thought I was insane. My friends thought I was having a breakdown. Um, Were you? <laughs> I, I, maybe I was, now that I think about it. How do you have a breakdown sitting on a beach in a hammock? Well, that would have happened before. And then it was like, you know, it was, oh, like, it was okay. like kind of like being a lyric you in a Paul Simon song or something. And then you, yeah. yeah you know, nice. Or maybe, you know, Jimmy Buffett, depending on your crowd <laughs> that you run with. But yeah, so I was doing that and I came up with this thing called uh, Itch No Mas. Well, uh, it was pretty much to uh, prevent the, you know, the, the itching you get after sand uh, fleas bite and whatnot. Right. Mm. That caught on. I had like the villagers knocking on my tent flap, and um, <laughs> on my tent flap. Well, you know, I, I really <laughs> lived in a hammock, but um, asking for this stuff. And I thought if I ever got back to the states, I would, you know, make this and ship it down there, which I did, along with a, an emergency slash insect repellent deodorant called Stink No Moss, and that also nice. did really well down there. But then after a while, I was like, why am I sending this stuff down there? You know, the shipping alone is killing me. So yeah. that's when I looked into, you know, developing stuff up here and. Uh, and that was the beginning of it, really. And we've got lots of stuff. Yeah. So yeah. now some of this I recognize because it was in the care package you sent me, <laughs> subtly, very subtly, telling me to shave my beard. Yeah, yeah. Um, but so now, just just going from, from our left to right, so I guess they're right to left, um, tell us just what this is. Oh, uh, well, left to right, right? Yeah, Stage that left. way to here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> these are safety razors right here. These are traditional safety razors. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure... If, if your audience is familiar with them or not, but uh, well, you can show I'm us. Not. Okay, Please this is a <laughs> this right here is a double open comb. I will actually use this one though because that one's kind of unique. This is a, a woman's or uh, women's rather. Oh, so you do razor. men's and women's like for shaving oh, yeah. legs and yeah, yeah legs. exactly, oh. exactly. Oh, that's pretty. So this pretty. is a traditional. I need to shave my legs because he, <laughs> that's the one thing he can grow. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so this is how you would load a safety razor. Okay. For those not familiar with it, it's a three piece design. Mm -hmm. And you would yes. take a double-edged blade. Oh, no. Uh-oh. What? I'm not going to hurt anybody. <laughs> I want to know how to do it. Standby. I've never done it before. Okay, let's, let's, let's. okay watch out, because it I'm is double-edged. I'm not going to hurt anybody. <laughs> I'm not going to hurt anybody. See that part where your fingers are right now? Don't touch that. That's the blade. Don't touch that. Oh, I'm getting chills. Can I get sued for this? I'm not going <laughs> to cut myself. No, it's on camera. We all know that it's yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Disclaimer, Weeks oh, Productions and the Talk Around Town Show is not responsible for <laughs> yeah, any bodily exactly. injuries that may occur. Wow, these blades are really, like, flimsy. Yeah, okay, but wait until it goes into the razor. Yeah. <laughs> and also, don't touch the sharp edge. Yeah. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> okay, so you would take... This is a double-edged blade, folks, for those of you not familiar with it. This will give you a better shave than the Mach 28 or whatever it's at at this point. They just keep adding blades. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like, the way those things work is, like, the first blade cuts the hair, the second blade lifts it up, third blade cuts the hair, and so on and so forth. 
to the point where you're cutting the hair so, you know, it's pulling it up so high, cutting it so short, it'll drop under the skin, and then you're on your way to ingrown hairs and whatnot. It stinks. Yeah, yeah. and uh, razor burn. This is just one single blade, so... Because with every blade that crosses your face, you're taking off a layer of skin, too. So yeah, John, our art director, was telling us it's like doing surgery on your face. Oh, it really is. Oh. I mean, it's great. It's, I mean, it's exfoliating, but you don't need to... I mean, five blades across your face, it's five layers. Mm. So by using just a single... Or your legs. Yeah, yeah, same thing with the legs as well. Representing, Courtney. I like that. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know if every, all the, the viewers saw how that happened, but now the blade's in there. And so it's double-edged, both sides. Mm -hmm. You would lather up with a brush. I think you have a brush. I have a... Oh, is that the, the, the thingy with the... Yeah. yeah. You, know, you throw it around, you take the brush, and... Well, this is the woman's razor. So. This is the woman's razor. A guy can as well. Brush. It's got a good weight to it. You wanna and this up. is the shaving oh, soap yeah. that I've been using. So it is. There's, oh. It's kind of slightly used. Yeah, slightly that's used, nice. but yeah, that's artisan made. And artisan made. It's artisan an made. artisan blade. <laughs> but um, yeah, you would lather it up. This is called wet shaving, by the way, too. Not to be confused with what you're probably doing at home. Uh, yeah. Wait, <laughs> hold on. What's? I'm. I, I'm sorry. No, I don't, no, I, don't, I, I, no. I, I encourage What's the questions. difference? Uh, the difference is so like I normally I get up you know what once every couple of weeks he <laughs> <laughs> gets that one protein when based, I, based filament yeah, yeah and I I maybe I use some uh, the foam he's gonna yell at you right now goo in a can is what we call that you know um, <laughs> and uh, I'll probably do it after I shower because mm -hmm. um, I just figured your barber puts a hot towel on your face no that's whatever. that's good and then um, you know take the razor and wet the blade. And, yeah, what see, wet shaving has more to do, not necessarily with the razor you're using, but more with the, the soap that you're using. If you're using a traditional soap in a, a oh, well, this would be a badger brush, um, that makes it wet shaving. You're using water and soap on the face, and the soap is making direct contact with the skin, whereas foam in a can, there's so many air pockets in that, too, that it's not, you know, a complete uh, You don't want it to be, contact. you don't want to feel like pulling. You want it to just come off, and that soap is almost a layer of cushion. Yeah, there. exactly. Oh, okay. It provides cushion, shield, and glide. And smell that too. My face yeah, smells so good smells after I shave. It smells so good. <laughs> so yeah, you would load the brush in the soap, and then in the bowl or on your face, you would build lather, mm -hmm. and then paint it on. And some people. So you put it in there first, and then. It... Yeah, you put it in there first, and then you can work it up on your face. I don't like how, like, how the soap gets mm -hmm. like all super soapy because then I have to pat it dry and put it away. <laughs> yeah. So I actually just take an Exacto knife and I scrape some off and build the lather in the bowl. Oh yeah, you can bowl. do that too. Yeah, you can <laughs> you can put a little chunk in there and build yeah. up in the bowl. Uh, before that, however, this right here is a pre-shaved soap that I've come up with. The clear thing. Yeah, the clear okay. thing. That you would uh, wash your face with in the shower mm -hmm. before you shave. Mentholated ice. That's the trick with this one. It's, it's got a raven with a captain's hat on it. <laughs> yeah. No. yeah. So do you have any women scents? Uh, I do. Well, I have a, a lot of scents that are unisex. Yeah, no women scents. Pink, sense uh, you pink thing? What's no that? men is have the women pink one scents. That could be. That's pomegranate bay. Okay. So <laughs> smell that. Good. I also have... A, that Dapper Docs is lilac and fig, so that goes both ways. Lilac and fig. Lilac and fig. Yeah. Look at that. And Sweet dreams. Yeah, I can see how that could lilac. Be and exactly. the way he packages this is cool because there's this tape around the edge, so <laughs> yeah. it doesn't like or whatever that is. Yeah, I yeah. really like That's your pack. It's like your packaging is kind of like it's on point. Rustic, well, I'm a graphic really designer cool. too, so it's like each you know. Oh, uh, I can smell like if here. if you see this. Um, oh, that's me in the desert. The old time shaving <laughs> soap. Like it? It's him in a desert with, with a captain's hat on. I don't know, there's a theme with this captain's hat here. Um, <laughs> yeah, in a boat in the middle of the desert, looking at a beaker full of stuff. Stuff. Chemicals Ooh. and stuff. stuff. <laughs> Concoctions, if you will. Concoctions. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, like I said, a lot of these subs go both ways. They can okay. be men or women. But the pre shaved soap, yeah, you would wash your face with this in the shower. It uh, would naturally degrease it, get rid of dirt, mm -hmm. so on and so forth. And then right before you shave or apply the lather, you would reapply this first against the grain. And since it's mentholated, whatever soap you chose, you choose to use afterwards now becomes mentholated. So it's like this cool. That's awesome. Yeah, it's really, it's, it's something else. So, I, so hold I on, wait, wait. So you're a graphic That's designer cool. who lives <laughs> on the beach, and now you're also an, like a real, like a legit chemist that actually uh, well, well yeah wow. I, I don't know if i would say chemist but i i, just, I do you know create wet shaving software developer okay um, <laughs> but i'm also a podcaster and a blogger as well right so do you and blog about shaving i blog about shaving and must it's the name of my site is called how to grow a mustache.com a uh, little plug there <laughs> but um yeah that's uh, everything wet shaving and uh and m mustaches so in December, our friend Seth came on and we had raised, um, we had said if we raise $1,500, we'll shave his beard on the show oh, for wow. charity. So we raised money for, uh, it was an organization called United for Freedom International, and he had about six months on yeah, because he was beard. overseas and backpacking wow. and whatever, and we shaved it on the show. 
that is awesome. I wish I was part of this. I would have yeah. used one of my razors. Could have used one of your. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Well, like, we didn't do yeah. a close shave because right. it was on the show. Right. But. but like, like I like my baby face. I just there are times that I wish I could Same. just one day be like. Well, you well don't, you're a girl. You're. <laughs> if you had facial hair like that, it, you know what? You could uh, still do this. You just don't have to put a blade in there. But like you can still lather up, you know, make it happen. Really? Yeah, the guy's looking at me. <laughs> His eyes twitching. Make myself yeah, yeah, feel yeah. like a man. Kind of. No, I understand. <laughs> no. Whatever. So use aftershave, though. <laughs> the aftershave is key. But what I'd like yeah. to say, though, is, um, man, you know, another great thing about this, not only is, is it a better shave than, white nice too. than a cartridge razor, yeah. you'll also save money in the long run. Because those are like a set each. You get a hundred of these blades for about eight to fifteen dollars. Yeah, and <laughs> that is really right? one major issue. With cartridge as any, as any man, or I, I, I don't know how, they, how much they are. Yeah. 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 But for if you get like a, I don't know, a Mach Four, the oh, they're up now. Super those. Seven, Mach, Mach you, yeah. you get five blades. It's like twenty bucks. Yeah, yeah. more, yeah. And more, yeah. and you're like, my gosh, uh, <clears throat> do I really need? And it's, they don't it's last cheaper. that long either. They don't. No, it's cheaper to buy a new razor ba- b- base with the blade and the free one that they give you. Every single time. Yeah, every single, every single time, time yeah. than to get four or five <laughs> refills. Or just go to phoenixartisanaccoutrements.com. <laughs> yeah. Go to the blade section, right? Okay, yeah. uh, okay what does the word that. accoutrements mean? What is that word? It's like, a, oh, he's going to put me on the spot. I don't Words know. are my trade. Yeah. Let's Google it. <laughs> yeah. Let's Google accoutrements it. Accoutrements is a collection of, like, boutique uh, products. Well, I want to know But I want to see what Google be. has to say about that, too. Uh, so, guys, we're going to do this over break, see. and we will let you know when we come oh, back. You. So go to the talkaroundtownshow.com, and also check out Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. Douglas, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Douglas, great being here. Thanks boss, for having man. me. Love having you <laughs> here. I really would love to try a... a we'll get you up and yes. going. <laughs> guys, stick around. We'll be right back. Additional items of this. Hi, guys. This is Colleen on Mastin here at Best Buy for the Talk Around Town Show. And I'm here with... Paul and Michaela St. John, and we are in the Disney Infinity section. Disney Infinity is a fantastic game that Disney has invented. So guys, do you see any characters that you guys like a lot? There's Hulk right there. Tinkerbell, I love Tinkerbell. So your favorite character is the Hulk? Good stuff, go ahead and grab him. Nice, turn it around so the camera can see. The other way, so we can see the, there you go. Say, this is the Incredible Hulk. And he smashes things. And he smashes things. But he's also a gentle giant. He's also a gentle giant. Fantastic. I love it. <laughs> and what does she do? She flies around Tinkerbell City. What would you do if you had fairy dust? I would fl- I would put it on I would put it all over me so I can fly around the Tinkerbell City. Come on down to Best Buy or check out BestBuy.com. If your kids are into Disney Infinity or any number of other video games or entertainment systems, everything you want is here at Best Buy. Remember, turn on your life with Best Buy. Hey guys, welcome back to the Talk Around Town show. And now joining us is our new guest host, apparently, Douglas. <laughs> hey, how's everyone doing today? <laughs> okay. yeah. He's our, uh, the, the, the shave master of the show. <laughs> yeah, right. Shave master yeah, of the so, show. slayer. No, but the entire break, we were just yeah. talking about products and stuff. So we yeah. figured we'd better leave him in rather than break up. Yeah, the well, why not? Why not? It just feels good. <laughs> <laughs> so now, what did Google say? Um, yeah. I'd have to look it up again. Hold on. Or, or open up the tablet. Um, <laughs> Additional items of dress or equipment, or items carried or worn by a person or used for a particular activity. So in short, all of these things go in your utility belt. Yeah. Yeah. You have it here. I'm the Batman of facial... Beard man. Beard, beard man. man. Beard man. Yeah. No, 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 no. Beard man. There. There you go. You got it. <laughs> so, guys, anyway, thank you so much for joining us this week. Uh, go to talkaroundtownshow.com. Give us a like on Facebook if you'd like. And we'll see you next week.